good advice for U.S. fleet operators charged with European fleets. Start by going to Europe and gaining a clear understanding of the needs of the fleet managers there. In the U.S., the first step um, I would recommend for, um, for a U.S.-based organization looking to, uh, to understand what to do with their European fleet, um, two things from my perspective. The first is to go to Europe and, and listen uh, to, uh, to what the, um, the fleet operators are, what their needs are and what they're doing today. Um, to, to really understand the difference between the two markets, between the US and, uh, and Europe. Um, the second thing I would do, understanding the differences between the US market and Europe, um, one of the major differences is the, the lack of transparency that, that exists in Europe versus in North America. And um, that's driven really because the North American market has the open end lease uh, where all of the costs are, uh, or the, the costs sit, the risk sits with the, the fleet operator. Um, whereas in Europe, it's the other way around. Uh, effectively, the risk sits with the leasing companies in a closed end operational lease. So many of the costs are not visible and transparent. And uh, my recommendation would be to firstly gain as much of the transparency of your fleet in terms of number of cars, how much they cost you, what are the services that you receive uh, for, you know, within those costs. Um, and then once you have that transparency, you're uh, really then best to, uh, to partner with a, an organization who has the expertise across those markets um, in order to be able to help you to understand what the data means and then to build a strategy uh, of how you can link up the, uh, the two regions or if you decide to, to build on that with LATAM and APAC, again, you need to have a partner that can help you with, uh, with developing that.